sustainable construction, often referred to as green or eco-friendly construction, centers around minimizing the negative impacts of building activities on the environment while maximizing social and economic benefits. It involves an integrated approach that considers the entire life cycle of a building, from design and construction to operation and eventual deconstruction. This approach seeks to achieve a delicate equilibrium between environmental preservation, economic viability, and societal well-being. Key principles of sustainable construction are resource efficiency, energy efficiency, water conservation, healthy indoor environments, waste reduction and recycling, biodiversity and habitat preservation, and longevity and adaptability. Green construction procurement is a part of the sustainable development goals that influence economic growth on a strategic level. Adopting green technologies and practices has no longer been an option but a well-worth route for gaining a competitive advantage in the construction sector. Green procurement is now gaining importance in the construction industry and supply chain practices for a safer tomorrow. Construction procurement is partially associated with green logistic services management, which thoroughly determines the sustainable economic development goals. Furthermore, construction procurement has a significant impact on green innovation practices that partially predict the sustainable development goals and the mediation of green logistic services and innovation practices are partially mediated to the construction procurement and sustainable goals. The implication of green procurement and logistic services offers many challenges in the long run for attaining sustainable development goals. In the short run, it gives operational efficiency and less hazardous environmental emissions. Eco-labeling in the construction industry plays a vital role in promoting sustainability, transparency, and responsible building practices. Different types of eco-labels offer various criteria for assessing environmental performance, giving stakeholders the information they need to make informed decisions about building projects and materials. By encouraging the use of environmentally friendly products and design practices, Eco-labeling contributes to the construction industry's efforts to reduce its ecological impact and create more sustainable built environments. Given the complex data that they are based upon, labels provide simple confirmation for non-experts that products bearing a label meet with a range of environmental standards. Through encouraging consumer awareness, Labels can exert a significant beneficial impact upon the market in environmentally preferential products and materials. Also, though there are many certificates, relatively few relate to building products and materials. Labels that include construction usually do so as one of many categories. There are several types of eco-labels in the construction industry each focusing on different aspects of environmental impact and sustainability. The first category of eco-labels refers to green building certifications. These labels focus on the overall sustainability of a building's design, construction, and operation. The second category of eco-labels refers to product-specific eco-labels. These labels focus on the environmental impact of specific building products and materials. They help consumers choose products that have lower environmental footprints. The third category refers to energy efficiency labels. These labels provide information about the energy performance of appliances, equipment, and building systems. They help consumers select products that consume less energy. In an attempt to standardize eco-label principles, practices, and characteristics, the ISO has created three distinct eco-label categories. They are as follows. Type first the classic eco-label. Type second self-declaration claims. Type third environmental declarations A's report cards slash information labels. As you can guess from the above information, Type first is generally considered the gold standard of eco-labeling. 
due to its independent verification, while types second and third should not be discounted though, as they can display transparent and quantitative information on performance. The Ryui Co label helps consumers, retailers and business make truly sustainable choices. The European Union Eco label is a world-renowned, voluntary scheme promoting goods and services that clearly demonstrate environmental excellence. It is based on standardized processes and scientific evidence. Launched more than 30 years ago as the Community Eco label, it has become the biggest and best-known scheme in many EU countries. EU Eco Label is the only European Union wide ISO 14024 type first eco labeling scheme recognized throughout Europe. It is multi criteria and tackles the main environmental impacts of products along their full life cycle, from extraction of raw material to disposal. The European Commission manages the EU Eco Label at the EU level to ensure that the EU Eco Label regulation is implemented correctly. The European Union Eco Labeling Board is composed of representatives of the competent bodies of the European Union, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway, and the representatives of 13 stakeholder organisations and three EU UN bodies. The European Union Eco-Labelling Board contributes to the development and revision of EU Eco-Label criteria and to any review of the implementation of the EU Eco-Label scheme. National competent bodies are independent and impartial organisations designated by states of the European Economic Area within or outside government ministries. They are responsible for implementing the EU Eco-Label scheme at the national level. The relevant stakeholders and interested parties concerned with a particular product group, such as industry and service providers, including SMEs, and their business organizations, trade unions, traders, retailers, importers, environmental protection groups and consumer organizations must have guaranteed participation.